for Wishbone, provided by annual financial support from PBS viewers like you. What's the story, Wishbone? What's this your dream? for you, pal. Uh-oh. Hey, Squirt. Don't give me any ideas, Demont. You and your little gang going to the dance on Saturday? Why do you care, Demont? Oh, I want to know where to set up the uh, losers only section. <laughs> you gotta know how to write to make a sign, pal. What do you mean, losers only? Well, you're not going with anyone, are you? Well, we're going together. That's what I thought. All the cool people have dates. You're cool? Of course, when you dress like that, what can you expect? Hey, Damon, think fast. Ooh. Keep your dog off me. Oh, didn't you know that paw print pants are the latest fad? I'm such a trendsetter. Oh, don't go away mad, Damon. Just go away. The secret word for today is snack time. Demont just wants to sew off. Forget about him. Hey, let's talk about this in the kitchen. What's wrong with how I dress? He thinks that his friends are the only cool people. Yeah, mean old Demont. Let's have a snack and forget about it. How are we going to have any fun at the dance with him around? All those people staring at you. Ooh, it makes me nervous. Yeah, I mean, everybody just stands around. People get so weird. You guys have got to calm down. We won't be weird. Or we could talk about the party and eat later. Hmm. Speaking of party, I wonder if Joe got that menu I was looking for. Hmm. Being nervous about parties happens to a lot of people. Read Jane Austen. Back in 1813, she wrote a juicy, meaty book about people and parties, pride and prejudice. In a small English town, one of my favorite characters, Elizabeth Bennet, and her sister are invited to the ball. Elizabeth, what about these flowers for the bud vase? Oh, they're beautiful. We'd better go in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Very good. Come along. These two are comfortable anywhere. gather round. I have wonderful news. What is it, Mama? A young man from London has rented Netherfield. Netherfield? He must be ever so rich. Indeed. And we are all invited to a ball. I dare say he will marry one of you. Oh, oh. Mama, for shame. Oh, quiet, Lizzie. Jane, you must wear your new dress. How we dress will not matter in the light of how we behave. Oh, Lizzie, whatever do you mean? <laughs> Mr. Bingley and his snobby sister rented a huge house. And they had a huge party to meet the neighbors. Mr. Bingley, this is my eldest, Jane. <laughs> and these are my other girls. I welcome you all. Punch.
This is my sister, Miss Bingley. And my good friend, Mr. Darcy. Darcy. Mr. Bingley's rich and incredibly handsome friend, Mr. Darcy, is nervous at parties. So nervous, he seems rude. Ugh, meeting all of these new people gives me a headache. Jane has, without exception, the sweetest temper I have ever met. Would you care to dance? Miss Bennet? I would be honored, Mr. Bingley. <laughs> what a lovely dress. Thank you. I had one very like it in London. <laughs> Three or four seasons ago. Oh, um, hello again. Mr. Darcy, would you be a darling and escort me to the punch bowl? Uh, yes, of course. Excuse us, Miss Beggar. Uh, Bennett. Sorry. How very rude. Good evening. Oh. 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 These country balls are horrid. Nothing like London. Come, Darcy. I must have you dance. Bingley, you know I don't like dancing with strangers. Besides, I'm a London man. I'm not interested in country girls. You are too fastidious. I've never met so many pleasant girls in all my life. Well, that's true. Miss Bennet is very pretty. What about her sister, Miss <laughs> Elizabeth? She's delightful and very clever. And why should I dance with her when nobody else will? I certainly do not need to beg him to be my partner. Mom, I think I need new shoes. What? We just bought those a month ago. Well, these hurt my feet. Uh, come here, let me see. Up here. Well, they seem to fit all right. Well, these would fit a lot better. Joe, if you need new shoes, fine. But <laughs> these are way too expensive. Well, you could take it out of my allowance. Your allowance? How will you buy my chew toys or my bite-sized mini fun bones? That's not the point, honey. But nobody wears this kind of shoe anymore. Besides, this has Joe, the part... Joe, you don't have to have expensive clothes to make people like you. I don't even have clothes. And think how popular I am. Okay, library, here we come. Hey, let's make it a contest. Last one to the bench has to rub my tummy anytime I want forever. Sam, what do you think of these shoes? They're fine, Joe. But listen, I heard from Robin's friend Tia that DeMont found out that David's going to the dance with Amanda. No way! Mm, I'm tired of this dance. Nobody wants to play anymore. Well, that's what I heard. What'd you hear about you and Amanda? What do you mean? Did you ask Amanda to the dance? No! Who said that? Everyone. Well, I heard that you asked Nathaniel Wobolewski. What? Uh-oh, it's getting ugly. That's what rumors usually do. Caroline Bingley thought the Bennets weren't good enough, and she wanted Mr. Darcy all for herself. So, she spread rumors about Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth. I have heard on good authority, Mr. Darcy, that you have developed a preference for Miss Elizabeth Bennet. Well, that's impossible. I hardly know her. <laughs> Well, I must order my dresses. Pray tell, when is the wedding to be? Look, she's nice, but I can't marry a poor girl, so, you know, enough already? <laughs>